Okay, so um, we're looking at the new Inkscape, which is a lot different than the other version. So I'm still kind of learning this version a little more because they have changed some things, but the gist is basically still the same. Um, all right, so the simple task here on this one is how do I print oversized prints? Well, this is a very old school method I used to use and obviously there's better ways to do this but if you're in a pinch and you don't know how to do you know oversized prints or get your printer to do it this works great so I have an oversized image here it is if I change this to inches so we can see here this is 19 inches and a half wide by almost 10 and a half tall I can scale this a little more for the project but it's close enough so now obviously you can't just print that if you just print that, you're going to get just the nose or multiple pages of junk you don't know what to do with. So, how do you align everything, make everything all nice and pretty, and still be able to print this? Well, easiest way to do this is to go to your document properties. Come down, change this to inches so you know your measurements. Change this to letter, U.S. letter, 8.5 by 11. Portrait so that it's upright since we're going with the height we know can fit on the 11 inches you know within 11 so we'll go portrait if it was the other way around you can also go landscape and use the same method I'm using portrait for now uh, you want to remove your page border so that you don't see that weird gray you can see turn on turn off and then you're done basically turn this off okay let's get to this part Obviously, if you just printed this as, you know, a page, it'll print this section. Then you can move this over, print this section, move this over, print the section, and guess to align them. Let's try and remove that guesswork by creating these little circles with crosshairs in them. Pretty easy to do. You just draw a circle any size we want. You can hold down Control and it will scale it to be symmetrical. Once you have that, you come over to your Bezier tool, hold down control, click at the top, drag down, click again. Now obviously you're still stuck, hit enter. That will make the line. Come over to the left side of the circle, click again, hold down control, click over, see I'm stuck again, hit enter. There's that line, but obviously that's not centered. So now we can select all of these, bring up your align and distribute by clicking these little three boxes at the top here. Make sure you have selection area set in your drop down and then click center, horizontal and vertical. So now you can see this is perfectly set. So now we want to make that just a little bit thicker of a line. So we'll come over here and make sure your pixels are selected at the top here and change that to about maybe a three let's try three three works now this is a little large you can use it big like this I choose to scale mine down so you can select them all by highlighting it and of course there's a dog barking so let me uh, be right back okay so now where was I um, oh yes all right so we created the hash marks or whatever you want to call these uh, crosshairs and we're going to use these to align the image. So now that you created it, we want to group these so that it's one solid thing. So you can hold down Control and press G for good. That will group them as one single image. So now, if we zoom in here, you can see it's all one image. I can click anywhere I want and it will move all of them around. So now that we created our little crosshairs, you can see I already created one up here, we can zoom into the image. Now once we have this, we can duplicate it by holding down Control D, as in David. Now it looks like nothing happened, but I, whoops, that's actually an oops on me. I had it selected wrong. Control D, there we go. You can see now I have a duplicate of this. And we can place this anywhere we want on the image. So we're going to put one up here, and that'll be our first marker. So now we can duplicate that one, 
and we'll come down here. So we have two points. We want to always have two points measured out. If this is too large and you want to make this a little tighter, you can by just scaling this down and bringing it over. When you want to scale the image down again, you hold the, you know, select the image so you have your arrows. Hold control, pick a corner and you can make it bigger, smaller, whatever you want to do. All right, so now we have two registration marks here. Yes, I use a lot of different terms. Um, but you get the idea. Crosshairs here and here. Okay. Once we have those crosshairs there, move this one out of my way, you can select the image, hit Control G to group it. In fact, I want to move these out of the way completely. Let's move these down. There. Okay, they're out of my way. Alright, so now this is all one image. So no matter where I click, it's going to move. Okay? So now we have our two registration marks. So the next now we're set to be able to print this. We can literally file print this page, which I'll show you in a little bit. Actually, I can show you now. So we want to print this. So let's line this up as far as we can. We have our registration marks in place. So we're going to go File and Print. We want to make sure... Actually, yeah. Let me just double check my settings here. Um, all right, so when we go to File, Print, it should print the page view. If it doesn't, you want to set your settings here to page. Another option, which is a little bit more pain in the butt, which I wouldn't do, but if things were glitching on you, you can actually export these individually as images and then print them that way. So, okay, so now we have our registration marks for the first page. We file printed, we got this section. So now we're going to move this over. Oops. Hold down control and just scroll to uh, move, you know, click and drag to the left. So now we have another image here. So we're good to, you want to leave your markers. Because if you don't leave these markers on the page and you move them out here, you won't have anything to align. Because you're going to be using these to align your images up. So you want to get them as close to the edge as possible without your uh, margin getting in the way. Grab another duplicate of your hash mark. Find a place for it on the, the car somewhere. Uh, let's go with here. Actually, that might interfere with the cut. So let's go with here. And then duplicate that one. Come down here to there. All right. Again, highlight all. Control G to group it. File print. So you print this section now. Same thing again. As I forgot to hold the key down. Hold down Control. Slide this all the way over to about here. File print, and you're done. You're oversized images here. You have three pages, eight and a half by 11, that you now can tape together by aligning these circles on your printouts. And uh, yeah, it's hopefully that's as simple as I made it look. Ha, funny, right? Okay, so the basics, again, I'll just go over really fast, is, I'm align this down, there we go, um, create these little circles, with your little crosshairs in it. Place your crosshairs somewhere on the image of the first box. Make sure you are set to 8.5 by 11 so that your page size is whatever page you're printing. If you're using 8.5 by 14s or whatever, you can also adjust it to that and so forth and so forth, but I'm just working with 8.5 by 11s. So now we can print this page. Once that's printed, we move this over by holding down control and just scrolling to the you know moving it to the left create make sure that your hash marks still stay on the page file print create you know uh, sorry create your next markers these two file print so now you have this section printed move this over file print 
and then you're done. All three pages, you just line up your little hashes, you're good to go. Um, hopefully that made sense. If not, leave questions or I can always redo the video. Alrighty, I'll talk to you again soon, hopefully.